18 dummy. Yeah. We go. 18 dummy. What they know about this dumb hype, dummy. Dummy. man? We go. 18 dummy. That's right. We go. 18 dummy. We go. Yeah. 18 yeah. dummy. Okay. okay. We go. 18 dummy. Go. We go. All right, so today my brother's in town for Christmas. Um, and he's got his lovely Subaru Legacy right here. Thing is beat up, but that's okay. It's his daily beater. He needs some new shocks. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. Not your usual European sort of stuff going on here. No Volkswagen, no Audi. We got good old Japanese Subaru stuff. And as you can tell, this thing is rather beat. Now, since we weren't trying to break the bank on this, we just went with some KYBs and new upper mounts all the way around. Nothing fancy, but definitely better than what is on this beast. This thing has about 300,000 miles on it, I think. He also has a Brat, which is more of his uh, project car. Like I said, this is more of the, the daily beater. He drove this all the way from Colorado, made it just fine. Besides some smoking and all the usual Subaru problems. Probably need some head gaskets. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And yeah, we'll get into it. Another thing to mention is since Christmas just came and went, got some new goodies going on both cars here pretty soon. We will dig into that in probably the next video. Since I'm not a Subaru person, I don't know exactly where I want to start with this. Front, rear, left, right. I mean, I got more room on one side of the garage than the other, so maybe I'll take that into consideration. But I also have to get up super early tomorrow, so I don't want to be messing with this too late today. So as you could tell in that last clip, I'm not that familiar with Subarus, but that's okay. It's all the same sort of stuff. Figure it out as I go. Next size should go a whole lot better now that I know what sizes I need, what's holding up what, and beyond that, just simple strut. Anyways, got the one out and we're gonna go ahead and swap over to the new strut and new strut mount. So I'll show you that right now. So here's the old strut out of the car. Got the little access plug out for the upper nut there. Gonna hook up the spring compressor, get this disassembled, and get out the new strut to reassemble. Well, one side is mostly done. This one is coming off. Hopefully this side will go a little bit quicker than the last one. I learned. And the other spring and strut mount are transferred over ready to be reinstalled into this piece of rusty crap. Fine Japanese machinery.
So, as you may or may not know, this shit has a side to it. You can tell whether it goes to the left or the right side by where the brake line mount is. Although Rock Auto was fantastic and shipped these quickly, they shipped two of the right rear to us. Although we ordered a right rear and a left rear, and the box even said left rear and had the left rear part number, we got two right rears. So we got the wrong damn part mounted on here for now. So we had to replace it. Now what are we going to do? You may notice that my front fender is, as they say, fucked up. When I open the door, it just tries to eat the fender. So we're going to pull this fender off, get ghetto with it, pound those dents out, and make it so it's a little bit more aerodynamic so I can up that gas mileage to 38.1 miles per gallon. Hell yes, brother. like a professional workstation for this some is. body work. We've got the dog shit in there to make sure that uh, it's properly cushioned. Um, you can see that I've been working hard to smooth this out. The paint is flaking. That's a sign of success right there. Uh, this portion has been bent back towards the vehicle instead of being a stabbing hazard for pedestrians. So you might say that we're already on the path to success. Now I'm going to use a lighter weight hammer here. This is for the serious work where you need to really move lots of metal. This lighter weight hammer is for the detail work. So watch as I apply this fine pressure here. Motherfucker! Ah, yes. You can see that curvature right there. It's still got a little bit of work to do. You can see that it's bent in and completely fucked up, but if we work this really nicely, we might be able to get a good edge back on there. You're like the Bob Ross of body, uh, body work. That's, that's what they call me back in Colorado. Just paint some happy little trees on the fender I'm about with your get, hammer. I'm about to get happy with this, that's for sure. God, I don't even know how to get this little wedge out of there. It's ugly.
What'd you do there? I didn't do this. This is what happens when I'm gone. I'm getting a real job and shit. Install a bump stop on top of the dust. I mean, it'll, it'll stop bumping. The bump stops in the right spot. <laughs> Two, not three but four new struts and believe it or not they are all the right strut we don't have two lefts or two rights they're all the right shit and because of the way that Subaru mounted the damn brake lines on this we also have purged the brakes and got all new brake fluid in there bled them out it's all tight tomorrow we're getting an alignment the bullet's gonna drive like a dream now raise hell praise Dale Takes one skip to trip one skip to skip to skip one skip to skip to one skip to skip You are fucking up bro. Get it together man. Get your shit together. Come on. Good fucking turn. <laughs> <laughs>